Good morning, ma'am. Good, Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Thank you. I'm good, sir. I'm good. very happy. Yes, sir. Sir, my name is uh, Ravi Kiran. Uh, I am from Telangana uh, State, uh, Karimnagar District. I have completed my graduation in Computer Science and Engineering uh, from NIT Varangal. Uh, since then, I worked for five years in uh, various companies as software engineer. Uh, then I moved into uh, Intelligence Bureau. So presently, I am posted as Assistant Central Intelligence Officer, uh, Grade Two, uh, in Bureau of Immigration, Hyderabad. I have read Indian Express and the Hindu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, the farmers and uh, central government talks have failed. So, farmers are ready to uh, come for protest again. Uh, Delhi March. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, mainly because uh, these are the uh, states which have majorly benefited uh, because of the MSP. So, that's the reason uh, they are more affected. Uh, they have the... Uh, no, sir. Uh, MSP is applicable uh, throughout the country, sir. Uh, major beneficiaries are from uh, Punjab, Haryana and uh, Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, there are multiple reasons, sir, uh, with uh, India and Maldives relations. Sir, majorly, sir, uh, uh, I, what I feel is because of the domestic uh, domestic politics of Maldives. So, they, they are, don't have any bi bipartisan consensus about uh, India's relations. So, one party opposes uh, India's uh, good relations, one party supports uh, India's good relations. The present government, sir, uh, the political party there, uh, is not in favor of India. Uh, it is inclined more towards China. So, it has... Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, I will take a, a multi-pronged strategy. So, uh, firstly, I, I will improve the people-to-people -people relationship. Uh, there is medical tourism, uh, which is in India, sir. Uh, many of the Maldives come... Maldivians come to Kerala uh, for medical tourism. They have uh, cultural relations also. They marry people from uh, Kerala. So, I will use the diaspora as a soft power and cultural relations and the economic, uh, the trade also will be improved, improved with the Maldives. Sir, I don't think India is involved in the domestic politics of Maldives. Sir, uh, as per my knowledge, I, I, I don't think India is involved in sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have uh, given my potential for uh, software engineer as well, sir. Uh, I was able to satisfy myself and able to reach oh. my potential there. Okay. And now, as being an intelligence officer also, sir, I'm able to contribute to the uh, national security of India. Yes, sir. Sir, singularity, AI singularity is, sir, uh, where the AI intelligence uh, will match the India, uh, human intelligence or also overcome, overcome the human intelligence. Sir, uh, in my opinion, sir, we haven't reached yet. Sir, uh, it will reach, sir. Uh, the Yes, sir. Sir, it will act as an assistive, uh, assistive product uh, for humans. So, they don't have emotion. Yes, sir. On the intelligence part of uh, things, sir, it, it might uh, overcome human intelligence. Uh, but a conscious uh, kind of thing, 
and taking decision with wisdom uh, uh, humans are sir uh, singularity uh, what i uh, understood by singularity is to overcome the human intelligence but the consciousness uh, getting into the artificial intelligence is a far dream uh, which we can term it as sentient so artificial intelligence may not be sentient as well. Mr. Ravi, you are interested in uh, foreign relations. Uh, what do you think is the, uh, the, the, what do you think are qualities that a diplomat should have? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, there should be many qualities, sir, uh, for diplomats. Uh, sir, uh, majorly I would focus on negotiating skills. Uh, they should understand the uh, domestic government's uh, requirements and the goals, and also the the negotiating uh, with other countries. what their requirements and what their needs are and it should align with the uh, uh, multilateral uh, policies of the global order so that uh, they can discuss the issues amicably in indian mythology ramayan do you know of a uh, diplomat who went to avert war sorry sir i am unable to recollect hanuman yes, what did hanuman set out to do Uh, yes, sir. In Sri Lanka, uh, he is uh, set out on fire. Okay. Yeah. And uh, have you been following the Russia-Ukraine war? Yes. And who is who do you think is uh, more guilty of indulging in conflict? Yes, sir. Sir, as part of this issue, sir, uh, I don't think any country is guilty. Uh, more guilty uh, in foreign relations. it all depends on the interest of the country so here uh, uh, ukraine says it is uh, against their sovereignty and territorial integrity uh, russia says uh, because of the expansion of nato uh, and the uh, policies of uh, us and other uh, nato allies within the eastern part of ukraine which is impacting the russian sovereignty so i i see it sir as a interest of uh, each the countries i don't see any uh, guilty as part of uh, their own uh, crisis And uh, see, you are uh, specialized in computer science. Yes. So uh, all your classmates must be going to the United States or the Western world. So why do you want to join the civil service? You could have also gone abroad and had a much easier entry into working life. So what made you think differently? Did you have any family kind of pressure to join civil service, or was there any other kind of thing? No, sir. I don't have any uh, family pressure as such, sir. I it it did come to my mind, sir. I was also inclined after my uh, B Tech and uh, while working as software engineer uh, to go to US or uh, work there. I did got these opportunities as well. Uh, but sir, a uh, later part of the career, I realized that uh, uh, my family, uh, like a background, uh, they got the social mobility because of the education and the opportunities they had. So I felt fortunate, sir, to be uh, at this stage. so i want to contribute to the society and also act as a catalyst as a social change to bring uh, the change uh, towards the unfortunate people and the marginalized people in the society so th- this is my uh, goal sir uh, which i thought uh, which be worthy of a uh, dreaming now yes sir uh, sir first job sir uh, after the first job it was like career progression uh, uh, i moved into another company as a, a senior software engineer uh, from then on sir uh, uh, yes sir uh, sir i would attribute it to the career growth uh, because of the opportunities i had and also the offers i i got with the other uh, Uh, sir in my opinion sir uh, there is a possibility uh, mm-hmm. because uh, because of the data available sir sorry sir i beg to differ on that sir uh, because uh, it be, be based on the data sir uh, based on the data sir
Yes, sir. Sir, AI as a technology, sir, initially it will be disruptive. Uh, mm -hmm. It will uh, kill some jobs. Uh, it will create uh, create some monotony. A monotony initially, sir. Mm -hmm. By using humans, uh, humans using AI as a tool, as a product, they can enhance the productivity and also do uh, creative things in the world. Sir, uh, with the present uh, and the present situation and the technological advancement, sir, it is difficult to hack the EVM, sir, uh, because it is a standalone uh, system. It is not connected to any internet. So th that is the reason it is difficult to hack the EVM, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, DRDO office is in Hyderabad, sir. Uh, sorry, sir, I am not aware of complete details. Yes, sir, manufacturing is in Hyderabad, sir. Uh, sorry, sir, I am not. Yes, sir. So for me, sir, self-growth starts with uh, uh, self-analysis, right. self-introspection. First, we should know what are the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats we have. Then we have to do a to-do list uh, and have a short-term goals, medium-term goals and long-term goals. Based on that, we, not, we need to prioritize what we need to uh, act on that, uh, which, uh, which issue is priority, uh, which thing can be done. So this will help in uh, having work-life balance and also improve the productivity on day-to-day -day activities. Yes, sir. Uh, by writing it, I, I do it, sir. Sir, I used to write diary, sir. I did it for 10 years. Then I moved into reflective journaling. Okay, Ravi Karan. I'll just take this forward. You use the word audit, self-productivity audit. Yes, sir. Uh, what do you understand by audit? Uh, Ma'am, audit means uh, I want to see uh, what I have achieved or not, what the goals I have set, uh, did I uh, able to achieve it or not. It is like a self-accountability mechanism for myself, ma'am. Yeah, you know, what do you understand in general by the word audit? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, usually audit is uh, in uh, finance parlance. Uh, it is used for... Uh, uh, not necessary uh, in finance. You have safety audits, you have fire audits. Yes, ma'am. Okay. At the end of an audit, what what is it that you you know look for? Yes, sir. After the after the end of the audit, ma'am, uh, we look for for the improvements, or uh, whatever are the shortcomings. Nice. You look for assurance first, and then you look for improvements. Yes. Right. Okay. Just thought you know <clears throat> I'll share this with you. Okay. What do you understand by fiscal federalism? You've heard of the term? Yes, ma'am. The relationship between the center and the state uh, in, in fiscal place, the financial uh, distributions, uh, all, the, uh, all the issues involved. So why is it coming into prominence right now? I mean, lately, there's been a lot of talk about it. Yes. In recently, what context? Yes. Uh, recently, it is in news uh, because of the southern states like Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu uh, has given uh, various press statement and passed resolutions in assemblies. Uh, stating we are not getting the tax, what we are uh, contributing to the Indian economy, we are not getting back from the uh, center. So this has been in news, ma'am. And uh, what is the slogan? They're giving a slogan, no? My state, my tax. 
sorry ma'am i'm not aware of all right okay you can read upon it my state my tax uh, <clears throat> but what do you, why do you think it's happening uh yes ma'am uh so um, there are many reasons ma'am uh, for this so primarily i would attribute to the uh, relative deprivation the so southern states are feeling because of the contribution of their tax so secondly uh, because of the gst uh, uh, gst council uh, devolution of funds uh, to the southern states uh, Uh, it is a I mean, why are they not? Why are they feeling that you know uh, justice, let's say, is not being done to them? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, because of the contribution from the central member, the finance commission devolution is not which. And why is the contribution not up to their desired desired levels? Yes, ma'am. Uh, majority of the manufacturing sector, ma'am, it is in the southern states. That's okay, but why do you think they are not getting their fair share? Why do they feel they are not getting their fair share? What what is happening? Yes, uh, because of the finance commission uh, formula, ma'am. Uh, because of uh, population, nineteen seventy one census and two thousand eleven census, they are using it. Yeah, so it's basically population based, yes. right? And the southern states don't have, although they contribute a lot by way of revenue, but they don't have that kind of population. All right, and the ability, uh, what has hampered a state's ability to, you know, raise their own taxes? What happened? What was that one event which hampered the ability to raise certain taxes? Give me one word answer, okay? Yes, ma'am. Right. Ma'am, GST because of the GST. Yeah. Very good, GST. because of gst uh, they were raising their own taxes but now they are it's all you know um, more to center yes it's more structured and structured in a way that they are not getting enough okay so thank you for common kitty yes <laughs> all right thank you ravi kiran very good morning so in one of your uh, extra curricular activities uh, there was cricket Yes. So recently there is a lot of talk about baseball. What exactly it is? Yes, sir. So uh, it is being in used in context of uh, England uh, Test cricket team. Uh, so they are using these aggressive tactics uh, to go against the uh, bowlers of opponent team. Uh, not not uh, looking forward for the run rate and all. So they want to keep opposition in pressure, so that they get the comparative advantage over them uh, and win the, win over the matches. is it something which is a new of its kind uh, not new uh, as such sir uh, previously also they used to be attacking uh, attacking by the teams but uh, with the england sir they are doing for every match in every series against every opponent so it seems to be a little new uh, for a team team uh, whole uh, cricket playing culture <laughs> so is it related to batting or bowling or what mostly related to batting only sir okay read about it You, so since you are also from technology background so our transport minister recently has been talking that water can be the future fuel so what was the context that he was talking about yes sir uh, sir as per my understanding sir he is talking about green hydrogen uh, getting green hydrogen fuel and using for automobiles how is it uh, both are linked green hydrogen and water yes sir so green green hydrogen is derived from the electrolysis process where uh, fresh water is being uh, done through electrolysis through renewable energy so th they obtain the hydrogen and use in the use as a fuel in the automobiles okay so another uh, tech related aspect neuralink yes so and telepathy so what exactly these two are yes sir so neuralink uh, a, is a internal concept of it's, it's a uh, programming concept uh, within a deep learning where uh, the machine is trained to work as brain a uh, neural links uh, during the decision making there will be many sets of layers where the decision can be taken uh, with the parameters so it is like a mimicking a brain's neuron sir so telepathy i believe sir uh, uh, it's like a 3d image uh, uh, where we can see a, a human Uh, whom we are interacting uh, uh, like in in a real time it's like a augmented reality sir 
Why has it been in news in the recent periods? Sorry, sir. Telepathy, I am not aware of, sir. Uh, Neuralink, I read about it. So, next. Again, uh, you are talking about MSP, minimum support prices. So, how do you think Telangana farmers in particular are, are they benefiting or are they getting affected by the minimum support prices? Very recently, your neighbor state, Maharashtra, many farm unions are coming onto the streets asking for removal of uh, MSP, withdrawal of MSP. So, what was the context? Yes, sir. I am not uh, exactly aware of the context, sir, uh, for Maharashtra. On part of Telangana, sir, uh, Telangana is one of the top five countries who are getting benefited from uh, minimum support price through the paddy procurement, sir. So, should minimum support price be legally guaranteed? Uh, no, sir. Uh, in my opinion, uh, we cannot guarantee uh, legally, sir. Uh, so, we should see uh, other measures uh, like income support. Uh, to be increased by the farmers. So, what is the solution or alternative that central government has been assuring to the farmers or as a solution? Yes, sir. Uh, with the recent talk, sir, uh, central government has said uh, they will increase the MSP for uh, three more crops like uh, pulses and other crops uh, including uh, rice and wheat uh, so that uh, uh, they will be procured by NAFED uh, for five years contract. So, however, uh, uh, the farmers uh, group has uh, not agreed for this. So, government is also talking about crop diversification as a solution to MSP. Yes. What was the context or how are they related? Yes, sir. So, pr presently, sir, uh, farmers are producing more of uh, uh, rice and wheat, uh, which leading to monoculture uh, in India. Uh, uh, it, it, it is having uh, uh, like uh, very less options very less options for the FCI and NAFED to procure uh, for uh, Food Security Act and uh, diversification. So, if they produce uh, diverse of crops, even FCI and NAFED can procure more and they can use for uh, in internal distribution uh, for uh, food security and also promote the exports uh, through agriculture. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, Thank you, sir. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay.